All right, so today we're going to talk about how to take down the level 80 and level 85 uh, ancient Blitz Reapers, the new Vega Conflict, uh, the new Vega Conflict fleet, event fleet. Um, these guys. I have a fleet of uh, four Punishers, one Guardian, and one Paladin. Um, Paladin and Guardian are MK2, as are these two Punishers, and these two are three. I have Metaphase 3 on all of the Punishers, and uh, Harmonic 3 full on the Guardian and on the Paladin. Um, Paladins run into some mixed match of drones because I don't really have the uh, I don't have very many drones yet, but um, they also all have the Xeno Blitzbusters uh, on them. Uh, the Punishers, as you can see, are between 589 and 786 DPS. They're all energy weapons. The Guardian is also all energy at 485, but I kind of stuck with the pulse cannons just for funsies and haven't refit them. They seem to do okay. They help out with drones. And uh yeah, oh, we also have the agility generator and no armor on this paladin. None. Um I have a mix of resistors. The alien resistors on the Punishers as well. Um, I think it helps. I can't totally tell. Anyways, so you want you want this in the the Iron Blockade formation for sure. And now we get to spend time waiting for one of these fleets to come out. And right now, this is actually my highest level fleet, so... Um, the level 80s give 150,000 points. The level 85s give 200,000 points. And I'm going to be really upset if only Phase 1 has Blitz Reapers. I might just go over into the next sector. Yeah, because phase one is hives. Phase one is reapers, not hives. Phase two is hives. <sighs> okay. Well, let's see if we can navigate over into the next sector, which is still in phase one currently. Maybe we can take this one. Oh, we probably won't get there in time.
Here's an 85. There's an 80. There's an 80. Cool. Alright, so we want that, we want all of them kind of going at an angle and down, but we for sure want the carrier to um, fall away from the cruisers. We want the cruisers pretty bunched. Um, I find that that's easiest for taking down these reapers when they first start coming in, but the main idea is to get the the carrier to follow in this way so that when we all shift and uh, right click then we can focus fire on that and the carrier our carrier our paladin will hit that carrier so we just kinda of follow it around as closely as we can until it dies and try to this is actually going very well um, try to kill that as fast as we possibly can and then we switch focus to the next one and do the same thing um, we kinda wanna get behind this one so that it circles back into the range of the paladin uh, for when it kills some of the dro drones and the, the main reason why we go after the carriers is because obviously they throw out all that plasma damage which really sucks and um, they also thoroughly enjoy um, continuously spawning more reapers as you kill them, so it's not fruitful to go after them. The, the reapers are actually super, super papery too. They don't do much damage, they don't have much health, you just save them. And that way you stay around, I've been finding anywhere from 10 to 15 percent damage on this fleet and that is a level 80 blitz reaper thanks guys